Hi, in this video, we are going to talk about the fasted state. Our body gets food input in terms of carbohydrate, protein, and fats. We have all these three in our diet. In contrast to carbohydrate and proteins, the calorific value of fat is more. But even if our body has options between all of these, our body would preferably use carbohydrate as a source to generate energy. But in case of fasting, we don't have any calorific input. So all of these sources are not available during fasting and we are not eating anything externally. So nutrients are limiting, right? So let's look at what happens or what changes happens during the fasted state. So let's look at first what happens to the liver. Then we move on to brain, muscles, and adipose tissue. Before understanding what happens during the fasted state, we need to understand what are the normal pathways happening in the liver hepatocytes during a fed state when glucose is abundant. So imagine glucose is abundant. So glucose would be channeled into glycolytic pathway and it would form pyruvate. Along with it, it would produce ATP. Pyruvate would be channeled into Krebs cycle and oxidative phosphorylation would take place to generate more ATP. In short, when there is plenty of glucose, plenty of ATP would be generated as well. Now from glucose, there would be additional synthesis of glycogen, which would work like a reserve for the future. Glucose could also be channeled into pentose phosphate pathway. From glucose 6-phosphate, which is a glycolytic intermediate, it can divert into pentose phosphate pathway only when glucose is available in plenty amount. Pentose phosphate pathway generates NADPH, the reducing equivalent, which is important for other kind of biosynthetic pathways such as fatty acid biosynthesis pathway. All of these metabolic pathways would only happen when glucose is there. But in fasted state, glucose is low. As you can understand, all of these pathways that we have discussed so far would kind of stopped, right? It would be stopped. But body cannot afford that because liver, even in the fasted state, requires energy. So how it would happen? Now liver need to have alternative sources and the alternative sources are like glycogen. Glycogen was already stored in the liver during fed state. And that glycogen is now going to be broken down and it would create glucose. It is very much similar that you have more money, you are fixing that money in your bank account and later you can break that fixed deposit and use that money, right? Exactly. Depending upon the demand, the body is breaking glycogen and making glucose. Now, TCA cycle and pyruvate can also give rise to neoglucogenic pathway and form glucose. So initially, just after starving, body would try to fight back and generate glucose by channeling TCA cycle intermediates to neoglucogenic pathway and breaking down glycogen. All these things ensures that glucose is secreted from the liver into the bloodstream and can reach the brain because brain needs glucose more than anything else. Because for brain, glucose is a key source of functioning and in starved state, our body cannot stop functioning. Now, liver has alternative sources, such, such as fatty acid, which comes from the adipose tissue. This fatty acid would be oxidized to acetyl-CoA. Acetyl-CoA can be channeled into TCA cycle, but for long-term fasting, acetyl-CoA would generate ketone bodies, and the ketone bodies would also be secreted into the bloodstream. Now, let's look at the hormonal situation during fasting. Now, in fed state, we know insulin level is high and pancreatic beta cell secretes insulin. But in the fed, in the fasted state, when the glucose level is low, while fasting glucose level is low, it cannot enter the pancreatic beta cell. As a result, the pancreatic beta cell is in a hyperpolarized state. In the hyperpolarized state, the pancreatic beta cell cannot secrete insulin. Rather than glucagon is secreted, which increase the blood glucose level. This situation is very much similar when you don't have money in your hand to pay bills. In that situation, you take two-fold steps. One is you break your savings to pay your bills and at that situation, you stop saving more, right? Exactly same thing our body is performing 
under a fast stage state. Body stops all sort of anabolic processes, rather it focuses more on catabolic processes to generate the energy. Okay, let's look at how ketone body generation is taking place under a fasted state. In this situation, the liver is producing ketone bodies which would be utilized by the brain and many other extra hepatic tissues such as cardiac muscle and etc. So, brain cannot stop working. So, brain need alternative fuel and the reserve fuel would be the ketone bodies. Now, in the starved state, the source of ketone body biogenesis comes from the adipose tissue. The adipose tissue breaks down triglyceride to give rise to fatty acid and the fatty acid is oxidized which give rise to acetyl-CoA. That acetyl-CoA can be used to generate ketone bodies. Once ketone body is generated in the liver, it could be used in heart, brain and kidneys. Now, the ketone bodies can cross a blood-brain barrier. As a result, it can easily enter the brain. Remember, fatty acid cannot cross blood-brain barrier. Otherwise, brain could have ut utilized fatty acid. But brain has no option because fatty acid cannot reach the brain because it is prevented by the blood-brain barrier. Okay. After that, let us understand the molecular mechanism by which body responds to a starved state. In the starved state, ATP level would be super low, whereas AMP level would be high. ATP level is low because ATP is generated less amount and the glucose is also less. This ATP by AMP ratio change would be detected by a sensor which is known as AMPK or AMP dependent kinase, which is also known as master regulator of catabolism. So AMPK would ensure catabolic processes are enhanced and AMPK also induce the tuber sclerosis complex which is an inhibitor of mTOR pathway. Now mTOR pathway is anabolic pathway. So mTOR pathway is a master regulator for all the anabolic pathway. Other than that, this AMPK activates PGC1 alpha. PGC1 alpha also activates PPAR alpha. All of these helps in transcription of ketogenesis related genes and enzymes. That ensures that in fasted state, ketogenesis is favored and all the anabolic processes are stopped. Okay, let's look at the brain. So brain under normal circumstances, imagine this is a fed state. In this circumstances, it can use the glucose and from glucose under glycolysis, it would form pyruvic acid, then the Krebs cycle can go on and brain can get its energy. But brain doesn't care where does the acetyl-CoA comes from. Acetyl-CoA is required for this Krebs cycle to go on. Now brain can either take it from glucose or brain can take it in form of the ketone bodies. The ketone bodies that comes into the brain would be metabolized. The major ketone body that is in the brain during fasted state is beta-hydroxybutyrate which in subsequent steps by the enzyme beta-hydroxybutyrate dehydrogenase gets converted to acetoacetate. Now acetoacetates get converted to beta-ketoacyl-CoA transferase. By, so it is getting converted to acetoacetyl-CoA by beta-ketoacyl transferase. This particular enzyme which is marked in red, this transferase enzyme is exclusive to brain and gives brain the ability to utilize ketone. Liver can only generate ketone body it cannot utilize but as extra hepatic tissue brain can utilize the ketone bodies ultimately it would give rise to acetyl coa which can be utilized and the krebs cycle or the tca cycle can run again and this is how under fed under fasted state brain use ketone bodies as a alternative source of fuel and brain can now recharge itself again not only brain under fasted state, heart muscle cannot stop pumping. Similarly, the kidney cannot stop filtering the blood and produces, cannot stop producing urine. So all these are necessary physiological processes that need to go on even in the fasted state. Kidney and heart both has the beta-ketoacyl-CoA transferase enzyme, which is key enzyme for breakdown of the ketone bodies. Both kidney and heart can break down ketone bodies and ultimately, both the cases, the acetyl-CoA which is generated can be channeled into TCA cycle and they can generate their own energies. Now, adipose tissues has different kind of changes happening under the fasted state. 
Adipose tissue is a rich reserve for cholesterol, for triglyceride and etc. So triglyceride would be broken and in the adipose tissue, the fatty acid which is the byproduct of triglyceride breakdown would be further broken down into acetyl-CoA by beta oxidation in the mitochondria of these adipose tissue. This acetyl-CoA can either run into the TCA cycle, give the adipose tissue energy, but under prolonged circumstances, it would be secreted. This acetyl-CoA would be secreted or the fatty acid could also be secreted and that would reach the liver and river, liver can use that acetyl-CoA for a duration or majorly it would produce ketone bodies under prolonged stage of starvation. And the starv during starvation, ketone body is the main source of energy. Not only that, there are many other hormones which are secreted during the fasted state. For example, the adrenal cortex secretes glucocorticoids such as cortisol, adrenal medulla secretes epinephrine, and the pancreas secretes glucagon by the alpha cells of the pancreas. Now, all of these hormones which are secreted in the fasted state ensures protein catabolism increase and there is a decrease in protein anabolism. If the protein catabolism is increased, then the byproducts could be used or those amino acid could be used to even produce glucose by new glucogenic pathway. In this way, hormonal regulation, all these organs, they are communicating with each other under fasted state to make our physiology get going. Our brain cannot stop, our liver cannot stop, our heart cannot stop. Even under fasted state, the alternative pathways are activated and it ensures our body can um, run its necessary physiological processes. So I hope this video was helpful. If you like this video, give it a quick thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.